Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be giving you some of the antenna parameters that every researcher must know. If you look at antenna parameters, they refer to various characteristics and properties of an antenna that are mainly used to describe its performance and behavior. Some of the most important antenna parameters include radiation pattern, gain, bandwidth, impedance, polarization, directivity, and efficiency. Now let us look at radiation pattern. The radiation pattern of an antenna describes the directional distribution of its radiated power. It can be either represented as 2D or 3D graphs and is typically measured in the far field region. The first graph here shows it is a 2D radiation pattern which depicts the E-plane and H-plane pattern of a specific antenna. The next one is a 3D radiation pattern. It covers the entire 360 degrees of radiations. Next comes the gain. Antenna gain is the ratio of power radiated in a specific direction to the power that would be radiated by a hypothetical isotropic antenna radiating equally in all directions. Gain is usually measured in decibels. Here, this is a plot which shows the gain versus frequency. Uh, and in this particular graph, you can see at 2.4 GHz, we have a gain of 2.6464. So likewise, at different frequencies, we have different gain exhibited by a specific antenna. Bandwidth is a frequency range over which it can operate with acceptable performance. It is typically measured as a frequency range over which the VSWR is below a certain threshold. It is compared with the reflection coefficient. On the same way, we can get here at minus 10 dB, we can get the upper frequency and lower frequency as 2.53 and 2.46 for this particular graph for a center frequency of 2.49 gigahertz. So now the bandwidth is calculated from this graph as 2.53 minus 2.46. It leads to 0 0.07 gigahertz and which is nothing but 70 megahertz for the given antenna. Next comes the impedance. Antenna impedance is the ratio of voltage to current at antenna terminals. It is typically measured in homes and is important because it determines how well the antenna can transfer power to the transmission line. If there is a good impedance match, the antenna will radiate better. If there is a mismatch, the reflections will be more and hence the efficiency will be decreased. This is a plot which describes the impedance plotted over a frequency range of 2.2 to 2.6 gigahertz for a particular antenna. And you can see at 2.5 gigahertz, the antenna is going to exhibit uh, impedance which is close to 53.35 ohms. Next, the polarization. Antenna polarization is the orientation of electric field of the radiated wave with respect to a fixed reference plane. It can be either linear, circular or elliptical in nature and it must match with the polarization of the receiving antenna for better performance. If there is a mismatch, the antenna will not receive. If there is a good match with the polarization, then the antennas will communicate each other. Directivity. It is the ability of the antenna to concentrate its radiated power in a specific direction. It is measured in decibels relative to an isotropic radiator or a half-wave dipole. If it is measured with respect to an isotropic radiator, the unit is dBi. And if it is measured with respect to a half-wave dipole, then the unit becomes dBd. This is a plot which represents the directivity of an antenna. Here we can see the maximum directivity is at theta is equal to 90 degrees for this particular case. And it has a half hour uh, B width point at 2.98 dB. Okay, corresponds to that. We can have a half hour beam width. Next, we have the efficiency. An antenna efficiency is a ratio of the power radiated by the antenna to the power delivered to it by the transmitter. It is typically expressed as a percentage and is affected by factors such as size and shape of the antenna, 
that's proximity to other objects and the quality of its construction. So more the efficiency of the antenna, it is better for applications and if it is less efficient, so it may demand more power to be used in pumping. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share my channel. You can comment if you have any queries, I will try to address it. Thank you.